Hello guys, uh, welcome to the Thursday College. Okay, so today is my uh, third uh, video clip series in the Microsoft Word. So the topic for today is going to be the page layout, margin, orientation, paper size, endnote, footnote, and citation. Okay, let's enjoy the video. <laughs> Okay, good day everyone. This is the third video clip of the Microsoft Word 2016. Okay, so today we're gonna go to the next topic that is gonna be the page layout, margin orientation, uh, the paper size, a note, footnote, and citation. Okay, so let's go to the program Microsoft Word. Uh, from the last clip, uh, I do I insert the figure, uh, the figure, I like have the figure, and then we do the caption including the table. Okay, so let's continue the topic. I have. Okay, so uh, the next topic that we want to do is we want to uh, doing the layout. Uh -huh. So what is the layout anyway? So let's I show you the picture, uh, uh, the the document. Uh -huh. So if we make the uh, percent to become very very small, uh, what you gonna see is you gonna see the the uh, picture. Uh, you you gonna see the the uh, the layout. I have like this one. So what I can do is uh, I can go to the layout and then in the layout I can change the margin. Right? So what is the margin anyway? Margin is mean the gap between your actual paper right? and then the content. Now for example if you, you can set the normal, narrow, something like this. For example I set the narrow. When I set the narrow you see they're gonna have a lot of the, the, the uh, have a lot of the content to put something like, like this so the number of page gonna smaller for example they have the nine page right so I change from the narrow to normal so it's gonna go back to 11 page something like this one however uh, the the margin itself you can set it to become custom margin so the custom margin you can uh, change it to become uh, anything you want now for my machine I set it to become centimeter right but if you uh, set the machine to US standard is gonna be inch uh, like like this one, okay. And then beside the machine, you can do the orientation. You can say portrait and landscape. Nee, right? So the landscape is mean they're gonna put the width uh, more than the height, uh, something like this one. And then you can do the uh, the size of the paper. Right? Most of the time we always use A4, right? But sometimes you're gonna use another kind of the paper size. For example, you can do the legal size, right? the US legal. Or you can do something like the uh, the longer one, yeah, like this one. Okay. So some sometimes we need a uh, different kind of paper. Okay. But maybe I just change back to A4. Yeah. Okay. So and then uh, okay. So this three thing we're gonna do it for now. Okay. And then for the column and break we're gonna see it in another topic. So maybe I just uh, make it come back. Okay. So what next? What is the next topic? I okay. have so the endnote and footnote. I okay. have what is the difference between endnote and footnote? So maybe I start with the foot uh, footnote first. I okay. have so if you want to uh, describe some word, for example, when you said uh, I I want to describe, I think I have the uh, the meaning in here already. So I check the meaning. I have the okay Akimoto uh, kawaii <laughs> kawaii the cute. Okay, so this one is my example. So at this moment, I just copy first. I just copy first. Okay, okay, copy. Okay, and then I go back to the topic. And then I find the word kawaii. Ah, kawaii is around here. The Q. The Q. Kawaii. So I want to have the footnote. Uh, about this one. So what I need to do is I need to make sure that the insertion point is in here so that I go to insert uh, and then I just said I have the, the insert and then I I just uh, okay uh, maybe not 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 the insert maybe reference uh, okay it's a reference not insert sorry I have, and then I just said insert footnote when I click insert footnote, they're gonna set number one. I have number one. So when when I click insert footnote, uh, you're gonna see the insertion point they go to the bottom one. I have so you can just uh, put the word, uh, the explanation you want. I have so for example, they said kawaii. 
คาวายอีนะฮะจีเป็นจีเป็นนิสเวิร์กฟอร์คิวนะฮะ something like this one นะฮะ so when you say number one like if you go back to the uh, the uh, the document they gonna say number one in here นะครับ so this one is the the example of using the footnote the footnote is mean you want to do explain something นะ like like this one นะครับ okay so Uh, I go to the back of the uh, of the document. I have they should have YouTube Akimoto Yasushi something like this. Okay, I said YouTube. Now, if I show you that I want to put two, na ha, two uh, two footnote, na ha, uh, together, uh, YouTube is mean oh not not the same not the same page. Ha, oh, so it's okay. I just do this one. YouTube, uh, YouTube, and then I put. I go to the reference. Reference, I said inside the footnote, นะครับ And then the footnote, the YouTube number one, right? The YouTube, the video storage service from Google. And then another one, I think is gonna be the name of the founder, Akimoto Yasushi. Uh, so I just put it in here, and then I, I insert the. Okay, I, I, I cannot because I didn't get his text yet. So I go to the end of Microsoft Word. Okay, here we are. Akimoto Yasushi. So I just copy here. Okay, and then I just come to Akimoto Yasushi again here uh, at the end, and then I click insert the footnote. I have insert the footnote, so I insert the footnote and then put Yakimoto Yasushi. Uh, Yasushi, right? Okay. Hmm? Where is the word? Okay, maybe I I undo. Ah, okay. In here, number two, number two, and then I try to put the text I copy. Mm, the text I copy didn't come, so maybe I just, I just go uh, to the end of the document again. Mm, Akimoto Yasushi folder. Okay, and then I use the copy in here, and then I come back here, and then put paste. Ah, okay. Uh, maybe they just have the format coming. I don't want the format. I go back to home. Me, this one. Nah, so I just want. Ah, oh, it's c a l a b i time new travel. So maybe I just go to this one and then use home and then use the my body one. Mm. Okay. I think maybe when I do the format something wrong. Ah. Oh, okay. I think maybe it's because because the the font so they make that you the Akimoto Yasushi going to the next page, yeah, something like this one uh, here, that uh, is going to the next page. So when you try to put the content, make sure that they will not, uh, you know, I mean, sometimes you when you put the content, you f o r out that they just rearrange your your uh, your 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 text, yeah, something like that. So maybe I just. Bring the big NK48 to go down a little bit, maybe. Uh, okay, they allow me to do this one or not? Uh, okay, here we are. Mm, they not allow. Uh, so maybe I gonna just leave it here. Mm, okay. Uh, and then the Akimoto Yasushi should be in the second one. Uh, okay. So you see, they gonna become the number. To number three, something like this. So when you see, uh, they gonna come uh, in here. Yeah, number two, and then the Hawaii, Hawaii. Where is the Hawaii? Hawaii here, number three. So they gonna run the number. You didn't need to worry. นะครับ And then the next one is about what we call end note. นะครับ The end note is mean you gonna put the meaning at the end of the document. นะครับ Okay. So I go to the example. It can be forty-eight. I dot group in Japan. Uh, morning musume. So I mean, I just copy both of them. Uh, okay. So I then come back. Uh, so I find the word AKB48. Uh, this one is going to be in K already. Uh, so I find the word. I use the find function. AKB48 in. Mm. Oh, need to come so far. Nah, okay. Okay, B forty eight. Okay, here. Nah, okay, B forty eight. So I just come and then I want to insert the end node. 
and then morning Muslim is just beside okay so I go to the reference and then insert the end node number one AKB48 yeah, I dog group something like this okay and then I go back to to the topic uh -huh. okay so this is the end node they're gonna come at the end of the uh, at the end of the document uh -huh, in here I go to very beginning and then I find the morning musume uh, AKB48 AKB48 uh, here uh -huh. So this one is the AKB48 end node. The end node they're gonna use the Roman number. Uh -huh. So it's gonna be something like the I make the uh, I make the person to become really big so that you can see it clearly. Uh -huh. Okay, so you see it's gonna be the I. Uh -huh. I. Uh -huh. And then uh, if you have the second one gonna be I I. Uh -huh. So for example I said morning musume. Morning musume. I have like this one and then I try to insert the uh, try to do the another end node and then become the first one uh, okay morning musume okay here that's the way you want to uh, so this one uh, is going to be the end node, so it's going to be Roman number I, I, and then uh, I, 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 something like this, I, we, okay, so I think on of this one I use the data already, so I just delete the text. Okay, uh, so that's, that's the topic of the end node and footnote, and then another one is citation. Citation, if you guys are the academia, uh, I mean, if you study in the field that need to do the research paper, uh, if you are the researcher, uh, maybe in bachelor, in master, or in your PhD, you're gonna know the citation already, but uh, if you haven't do it before, uh, so I'm gonna show you what is the meaning of citation. Citation is mean when you do the academic paper, sometimes you need to use the knowledge that they already have. Uh, so if I show you something like uh, this one, uh, uh, I want to do the research about the the, uh, the Japanese culture, right? And then they're gonna have one word, uh, the one word. Uh, okay, I'm looking for that word. Uh, okay, maybe I just search uh, F otaku. Uh, otaku. Okay, so when you said otaku, otaku is mean the people, middle age female, uh, occupy with video game, manga, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you cannot just make it up, you know, I mean, if you want to define the term otaku in your research paper, you need to study in some research, for, and then if that research are published uh, in the academic paper, you, you can use, you know, you can just not, cannot just pop it up from somewhere and then say, come on, everyone need to know, you cannot, so, I want to do the citation. However, uh, this is just the example. This is not the academic writing. Right so if you study the PhD, study master degree, please consult your your teacher, right? your your advisor right? about that one. This one I just teach you Microsoft Word. Right? Okay, so we come back to the citation. Citation is in the reference. Right? So in the reference and then you go to uh, insert citation. Right? But before you go to insert citation, you need to know the no uh, the the place you want to do. Right? So at this moment, right? I have the keyword. Right? Otaku Japanese idol. Right? So I have this keyword. I'm gonna use this keyword in the Google to search for the topic. But in the real world, you need to read it first. Right? But I I read it already. Right? So the uh, research paper. Uh, this one is the academic work of. Uh, some some uh, someone in the Waseda University, something like this. Uh -huh. So when I search, I search in academia. Uh -huh. A study of transnational Aidan Otaku. So this one is the name of the report, right? Uh, and then Waseda University. Uh -huh. Actually, if it is the the if it is the the, the computer uh, paper or the literature paper, they gonna have. The, the uh they're gonna have the publisher name or something else they have but this one I just use the university name as the publisher name they have okay so you go to the Microsoft Word and then you go to insert citation in the insert citation you can insert the citation from uh, from uh, somewhere most of the time we do it in the journal and periodic they have, okay but at this moment I just said journal 
นะ actually it's the paper anyway นะครับ and then you put the name of the author นะครับ Jonathan Longley okay so just uh, put his name in this one นะฮะ Jonathan Longley oh okay we we have we do this okay Jonathan Longley Yeah, so when you, when you copy sometime maybe maybe it's everything gonna come right I mean it's gonna be better if you type นะครับ but this one I just save the time okay Jonathan Longley นะครับ the title uh, the title the title นะครับนี่ this one นะครับ uh, otaku นี่ Japanese transnational นี่ uh, study นะครับ here Yeah, so actually you need to type, but I just do this one to I just copy and paste to save uh, save the time. Right? Okay, so this one playful expression of Japanese creative culture. Right? So the name, so this one I just make it up, just use the university name to become the uh, the name of the journal. Actually, it's supposed to be the the book name. Right? Year two o o eight. We know the page or not? Maybe we do not have the page, so we just click OK. Yeah. So when we click OK, so they gonna send link, นะครับ to O O S. So this one they gonna come in the bibliography section that is gonna be another click, นะครับ Okay. So this one is the uh, technique that we are using, นะครับ Sometimes we have A P A style, นะครับ or we use I T P N E, นะครับ I myself I use only two style that is I T P N E and A P A. So this one is up to the academic paper you do นะครับ and then when you click the citation you gonna have the list in the real world when you try to do research paper you gonna have a lot of them you know maybe you write down only four pages and then you see 20 of them นะครับ okay so that's it for the citation นะครับ so please note that this is just to uh, teach you how to use Microsoft Word นะครับ you cannot use uh, this one for your uh, literature review or anything นะครับ so if you want To know about the meaning or anything, please consult your advisor. Okay, I think this script is long enough, so I just come and then just okay save from now on and then okay. I think it's good to go for this video script. Okay, uh, thank you for watching this one and then see you in the next video clip. Bye bye.